new jaw-dropping text from Peter Strzok reveals shocking admission about Trump by Dan Lindsay, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Senator Ron Johnson has just announced a newly discovered jaw-dropping text from corrupt FBI agent Peter Strzok, which reveals a shocking admission in regards to President Donald Trump's innocence in the Russia collusion probe. Robert Mueller isn't going to be happy about this. Senator Johnson, who is the chairman of the Senate's Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, made the shocking revelation during an interview with WISN Milwaukee radio uh, host Jay Weber on Tuesday, January 23, 2018. Peter Strzok, who was the FBI's top agent on the Trump-Russia investigation, reportedly sent a message uh, to his mistress, Lisa Page, last year that suggests he saw zero evidence of the Trump campaign colluding with the Russians. Johnson told Weber that the text message sent by Strzok is jaw-dropping in regards to Robert Mueller's Russia collusion investigation. Strzok wrote, you and I both know the odds are nothing. If I thought it was likely, I'd be there, no question. I hesitate in part because of my gut sense and concern that there's no big deal there, there. There's no big there, there, excuse me. He, here's the troubling part. Even though Strzok knew that Mueller's witch hunt was a giant scam and would turn up nothing, he still took the lead role on it because he hated Donald Trump and resented the idea of him, him being elected president. The Mueller investigation was necessary on the part of the deep state so that they could take down Trump uh, with what Strzok himself referred to as an insurance policy against a Trump presidency and you get it, they would put Hillary Clinton in. That was their whole goal. Johnson noted that Strzok's text referred to the Mueller investigation, would ha which had begun two days earlier. Despite knowing that Trump was innocent, Strzok joined Mueller's team and played a key role in the witch hunt until the Justice Department's Inspector General found his anti-Trump text exchanges with Lisa Page, and you know what I just uh, just popped in my head just now because I just did the video with uh, with uh, Trey Gowdy. If it wouldn't Trey Gowdy know about this, so how would why would Trey Gowdy still be sticking up for Robert Mueller and saying uh, you know good things about Robert Mueller? You, you know, so so I think Gowdy is playing both sides of the fence here. Mueller's anti-Trump team took a huge hit when they lost, uh, when they lost Strzok. Okay, all right. And he was the FBI's uh, deputy counterintelligence chief and was appointed in July of 2016 to take the lead role into possible Trump campaign collusion with Russian operatives. Before joining Mueller's team, Strzok helped Hillary Clinton escape justice as the top investigator on the Clinton email scandal. Okay. Senator Johnson also told the radio host, in other words, Peter Strzok, who was the FBI Deputy Assistant Director of Counterintelligence Division, the man who had a plan to do something because he just couldn't abide uh, Donald Trump uh, being president, is saying that his gut sense is that there's no big there there when it comes to the Mueller special counsel investigation. So even there, why wouldn't Mueller just recuse himself after so much time and yet go after everybody else where he's exceeding his, uh, his authority into, like for investigating Manafort, and how about him uh, illegally taking uh, Trump's uh, messages uh, between his lawyer, breaking uh, client-lawyer confidentiality, According to the Daily Caller, the bombshell text was part of uh, 400 pages of messages exchanged between Strzok and Page recently turned over to Congress by the Department of Justice. 
New revelations are coming out every day as lawmakers continue to review the fresh documents for evidence of anti-Trump and pro-Clinton uh, behavior. Why does America need a politicized FBI or DOJ? Isn't that the kind of thing more typical of a banana republic? You would think. During this interview with Jay Weber, Senator Johnson also took aim at the FBI for last Friday's shocking revelation that they had uh, failed to preserve, or in other words, deleted five months of Strzok's text to Page. Johnson had been notified by a Justice Department official with a misconfiguration issue led to multiple FBI issued mobile devices not being backed up properly the misconfiguration yeah give us a song and a dance let's take a listen we have a breaking news item on the text messages between former members of the Mueller team Senator Ron Johnson appearing on a radio show in Wisconsin just said that a text discovered from Peter Strzok from two days after the Mueller investigation launched where Strzok said he wants no part of the probe quote nothing there no collusion Another revelation from Senator Johnson in that same interview. A November 14th memo, 2016, by Lisa Page to Peter Strzok talks again about our plan. Our is capitalized. That's a week after the election. Judge Napolitano is here. First of all, those two revelations, you deal with that. What do you make of it? I think these two are a two-person wrecking team to the reputation of the, uh, of the FBI, and it's, uh, it's unfortunate if they can't check their very strong political opinions at the door, yeah, but, and if they use those political opinions to drive... You, you hear now the crap that Napolitano just said? Check their personal opinions at the door? What are you playing, an idiot here, Napolitano? You know full well what's going on. Again, do you see? Do you see the, the bias here? You, you see how they're wording things what they're doing in their official work. Now, wait wait, 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 hold on a second here. We've got the revelation that they're talking about a secret society. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So he's now, now, Judge Napolitano is another zero on my list now. Within the FBI, mm, that, these two. That would be... And now, our plan. The, I don't know what the our plan is, but if you combine our plan with secret society, you, you actually have in writing the revelation of what many of us have been ranting and raving about. I characterize my own behavior as ranting and raving for years, and that is the deep state. That is the part of the government unauthorized by the Constitution, Finally. which never changes no matter which party is in power, that exercises extraordinary power and influences the way the government goes for its own sake. This cabal appears to have interfered with the results of our election. Well, by attempted hunting. to interfere with yes. the results of the election. By attempting, to of course, to do it. by attempting to dislodge the validly elected president yes. of the United States it's treason. Uh, from the White House. What's the legal word for that? Treason? No. That well, legal what is, is it? not true. Treason well, is defined is in, in, in the Constitution. Well, it would be a, a conspiracy to, to disrupt the election hmm. laws. Uh, but look, the the reference there's no collusion there was made two days after bob Mueller was appointed so I, I don't know on what basis he could have made that Mueller had not even started uh his investigation it is odd that he says i don't want any part of it then he becomes a major part of it <laughs> then these texts become uh public and then he gets fired and moved into a, an hr position wait a minute fifty thousand emails between these two to average text i'm sorry yeah. text averaging 68 per day and all of these texts were taken in a time frame that included the dossier it surfaced Flynn was interviewed by yes, Strzok, yes, Comey yes, was fired, yes. Mueller appointed, the, and you got 50,000 emails the, between these two. The texts are all on uh, mobile devices issued by the government. The government owns the hardware, the government owns the software, the government owns the texts. Where are the texts? Yes, I This brings us it. back almost full circle to Mrs. Clinton, to yet another example of the sudden disappearance of profound evidence in the hands of the government just disappearing. That is a plot, that is a conspiracy amounting to the that undermining of America's electoral system. All right, it's, it's an attempt because it obviously, okay, it obviously didn't succeed. 
uh, Donald Trump was elected and Donald Trump is still the president of the United States. But think about it. The president of the United States is the chief law enforcement officer of the land. And one of his weapons to enforce the law is the FBI. Now there's a cabal in the FBI that wants to dislodge him from his position as president of the United States. Correct. That's essentially what we're talking about this morning. Yes. And so, it's diverted. All, it's it's a, not Russia, 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 Mueller and Trump. It's not that. It's, a, it's, a, it's this bunch and Hillary Clinton. Well, look, there are 8,000 FBI agents. We know about one of them struck. The, the page is not a... Stop playing politics, Napolitano. It's not one of them. It's a, it's a lot of them. She's a lawyer. Uh, and they have some relationship to each other whereby they text 60... This is more than you and I text. 68 <laughs> times a day. I've never heard of such a thing. But whatever. And and it's it's coming out in, in such a way as to impair the reputation of the FBI. There's so much more of it. You're putting it so mildly, Judge. It is yeah. a cabal. It is a plot. It is a conspiracy a, to undermine our electoral him, system and the government of the United States. Two people out of 8,000. I don't care how many it is. They were senior people in charge of these you investigations. He's a low, they, low lawyer. He says he was a senior person. I agree with you on that. And Bob Mueller caught it and fired him. Okay. Uh, yeah. You see how he said, yeah, Bob Mueller caught him and fired him. And he goes, uh, you see what right here? Uh, you see Napolitano? He's playing agent, politics. She's a lawyer. Uh, and they have some relationship to each other whereby they text 60. This is more than you and I. Yeah, that's the issue. 68 times a day. I've that's never heard of such issue, a thing. Napolitano. But whatever. And, and it's, it's coming out in, in such a way as to impair the reputation of the FBI. There's so much more of You're putting it so mildly, Judge. Correct. It is a cabal. It is a plot. It is a conspiracy to, to right. undermine our electoral system and the government of the United States. Two people out of 8,000. I don't care how many it is. They were senior people in charge of these investigations. She's a low, they, low lawyer. He says he was a senior person. I agree with you on that. And Bob Mueller caught it and fired him. Okay. Uh, you see that? Bob Mueller caught him and fired him, and he goes, uh, unbelievable. Senator uh, Ron Johnson emphasized that Congress needs to see the missing text messages because Peter Strzok and his mistress were completely unguarded in their communication. Johnson added, so we're getting insight into exactly what is happening inside the FBI at the highest levels, and who knows who else might be implicate, who, who might they implicate in terms of corruption. I seriously wonder if there are any honest people left at the FBI's leadership. New evidence comes out week after week exposing a new level of corruption within our government agencies, making it very apparent that we need to support President Donald Trump in his efforts to drain the swamp. And notice how uh, Napolitano, he said two people. Uh, no, it's not who erased the texts. There's more people. It's not two people in the cabal, in the FBI. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am getting hoarse because uh, I'm uh, like getting so, uh, you know, aggravated with all this that's taking place, you know? I mean, really. Uh, it's not just two people. So he was playing it down. The Varney, uh, he, he was pointing all of this out. And I'm glad he, he uh, caught that and, and said it to Judge Napolitano. Like, like we know you're playing politics here. You see, just like Trey Gowdy is, you see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.